These cursed ghosts blasted all- Is that who I think it is? Because we haven't seen him. We haven't reconnected with him yet. Yeah, we haven't. Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Norman. This is Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and this is my first ever playthrough of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and we're back with Bobbery. Bye, blubbery botches. Is that Mario over there? You're alive, old boy. Right, you came just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here this instant. So he's still thinking of other people. You gotta think about your own life too, dude. Your, your wife told you to, your, your late wife. What about you, Admiral? You gotta get out of here too. Just leave it to me, yeah? I'll keep these ghouls busy for while well, you get out of here. Flee! That's an order. Let me do what I must. Now we are with you. Well, Bobbery thinks it's the right thing to do, so what are we waiting for? I mean, no, I think we should still fight. We could fight. If Bobbery's gonna fight, I'd like to fight. Oh, Bobby, please forgive our cowardice. You guys carried us away. We left you, uh, we left you uh, when everything was happening so quickly. Forgive us. Go on, I. Excuse me, but I better be going also. I almost forgot that I, like, I, I categorize these guys as, like, typical, like, sailors in a movie. Are you out there in front of the TV? I'm talk- It may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario or anyone else. So you're the stowaway. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, so like, we're like, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. The, I kind of thought they looked like an ex not to be honest. You out there in front of the TV? Did this guy go nuts or what? Danny, I don't know, but we're gonna help Bobbery. Bobbery! No? Man, this looks really cool, and like, it's, it, like, it looks really cool for what the art style is, you know what I mean? It's not like, graphically intense. I would actually said it like recently on, on on Twitter, which you can find in the description of every single video. Uh, that like yeah, it doesn't matter. Like it like it's is like art style is so much more important than graphics w will be. Ah, to me anyway personally, I know people like different things. And I'm not trying to force people to be into things I'm into. Uh, that's never gonna be the situation. How do we get to this? Can we move this? Can we like drop, can we like do a drop down here like this? No, we can't. How do we get to that then? How do we get to the snowman? I'm doing this intentionally by the way. Let's see, how do we get to the Do we have a party member that can get us to the snowman? Of course, let's go. There's something right there. Where is it? Where is the item? Wow, you're so useful. I love, I'm like, I'm trying not to have like uh, a weird disdain for our party members. It, just, it, just, it was just funny for me for a bit. The idea that Vivian's the only party member. Ah, so this is how Legend of the Sea meets his end. No, not at all. Wait, we should probably, if we have items to heal, we should probably heal. Um, gear. Yeah, we should probably do like, we can buy some more. Watch there be like a star right up here now. I guess not. It's fine though, like again, we, we shouldn't need so much health to like defeat all these enemies all the time. It shouldn't be that way. Like we should be able to just do it. Um, we can go with the hammer again. I think we just like, we go with the normal hammer for now. Because we, we don't have much FP. We used a lot of it. Like my idea was I was gonna go back and like rest up a bit, but then we went into the cutscene. Shade Fist will apparently just give them more power for some reason. Uh, Veil, hide in the shadows with Mario to avoid attacks. I know they're fire. I know they're fire. Hide in the shadows. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, I think we probably should swap our characters again. Uh, I'm thinking that what might be good for this is... Flurry can't use that move, though. Danny, I think Coops, maybe? No, because Coops can't hit them. Uh, Goombella would be... You know what? Um, uh, Shade Fist we can't do because it will give them. Will, will it give them power though? Boost, Super Shroom, Ice Storm. We have Ice Storms though. This is why we bought these items. <laughs> Literally, the only reason we bought these items was to get these Ice Storms. So once we do that, ow. I still have to get better at countering that. Once we do that, I wonder if it's just a situation of like... Like, can we jump on these guys now? So we still can't jump on them even though they're frozen in ice. Okay. 
And like again, what people said is, sometimes I don't uh, like uh, apply logic to things, right? Like for sure, sometimes I don't apply logic th to things, and sometimes you shouldn't. Uh, but in this situation, I guess it's 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 like um, I'm gonna change your party member by the way, maybe to appeal. Fan oh, let's appeal. Um, in this situation, it's like yeah, they are covered nice, I guess, but like they're still gonna have their usual moves, which I'm fine with that. That's fine. I've learned that now. Who's throwing stuff? Rocks? Oh my god, the amount of rocks these guys had. Okay, so I guess... I'm gonna appeal one more time. These guys are kind of, like, I guess, like, 100% like always, like, you know, trying to take... I guess I just need to get the timing right with that as well. I just, I need to get the timing right with that. But look, it only takes two hammer hits. Which is good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, we're in a bad shape. We're in bad shape. Because sometimes, like, you know, sometimes, like, I can be genuinely, like, not great at moments, right? And that just happens. Like, you know, and the, the, definitely these guys are not, not, not a shining moment for me. But it don't matter. Well, we leveled up, baby. <laughs> uh, we, Vivian, get in the spotlight here. Okay, so HP, FE. We did BP last time. FP. Um... Um, I don't think HP is genuinely a problem. I think that it's... I think we run our FP way faster than we, 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 we would like. Personally. There we go. Are you serious? Are you serious? This is right here? What? Okay, okay it's fine. We just used, like, what, a couple of items, but that's okay. Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Omer, and this is Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, and this is my first hour playthrough of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And yes, you might notice we are in a different place from now. Well, PC recording, as you know, doesn't always mix with me, and this time I just kind of like forgot to press record on OBS. I mean, Nintendo, if you're watching this, I forgot to press record on my capture card that is plugged into my actual GameCube. Um, I, we didn't miss too much, we didn't miss any story points. Basically what happened is we went to Bobbery. Bobbery was like, hey, can you get me some freaking Chocola Cola? Chocola Cola of all things? Which I love that it's like tied to the other game. Uh, then I went back to Flavio and Flavio was like, hey yo, I got Chocola Cola, but for a price. And he basically made us get some coconuts. We got the coconuts, we gave him a coconut. Uh, and here we are again about to give the Chocola Cola to Bobbery. So yeah, that's pretty much all we missed. Um, it's, it's, it's a mistake that, like, happens once in a blue moon, and it's gonna probably, ha it, like, it happens, it happens, the, the whole idea of, like, because you're so used to just pressing stuff and, and whatever. But there you go. Ah, oh, that distinctive bouquet. You brought it. This glorious flavor, flavor, dear boy, it awakens the mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver this one last grace. What, you're not, no. No, you're not dying. I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting me last wish. Now I shall be reunited. I just realized I did an intro. When, uh... <laughs> it's like the next day, uh, by the way. It's like the next day, because I had to go and do stuff. So, like, I just realized, like, I just did an intro. Uh... At <laughs> the start of the video, sorry for interrupting what's happening with you, Bobbery, but like, I 100% I, I believe that this guy is not dying. I'm sorry. I'm not letting this happen. Uh, now I should not- Oh, is dear Scar- The Scarred stuff actually upsets me. Farewell, Captain Mar- No, you're not. You're not dying. I don't believe it. I can't believe it. Yeah, he's sleeping. Okay, okay. I was getting really worried there for a second. Hey, Gonzalez, I think maybe Bobby's just sleeping. Yeah. He is, and I was getting all choked up. Give him a wake up whack. Bam. <laughs> what, 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 what? Oh, yeah, buddy, Bobby, pirates. Where are those pirates? Not quite with it, huh? Yet, huh? What now? Oh, Mario, oh boy, it's you. Your adventures in the afterlife as well. <laughs> Stop. Hey, you're still alive, you nutcase. Hmm, yes, well, really? This isn't a tropical paradise of fallen uh, sailors? All right. Now I recall, Mario, oh boy, we still have to work to do. You better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure his sea legs are expl an explosive personality will be rather useful, eh? 
Oh, great. Okay, so we have Bobbery as an actual party member now, which is going to be fantastic. So let's see what Bobbery can do. I'm guessing, like, maybe it's kind of, like, similar to what Bombette could do. Press X to make... Yeah, so it's throwing the bomb, and it will explode. That's a Bombette. That's, like, a, like, or similar to what Bombette was able to do. I think it was... Couldn't Bombette do that? One of the best party members in the history of party members. Top 10 party members. Bob Bombette's there. Uh, to blast cracks open. Yes, and activate switches. Okay, so that's gonna be important. You can even throw him onto ledges above you. In battle, he can detonate on the ground bound enemies. Or if you like, you can use his bombs, uh, the, his bomb squad, time bombs that explode at one turn later. That actually sounds fun too. Okay. Awesome, we have a new party member. Let's just use this, why not? We're gonna be heading back anyway. So can we blow up the- so there's a bomb symbol here. So can we blow up this wall now? There's like a yellow and a red mustache on this creature. Or like, I guess, creatures. Rock creatures. Okay, let's head back. There is, of course, gonna be more backtracking in this game. Uh, that is probably the major flaw. I think we've talked about this in the comment section quite a bit. We know it doesn't drag the game down to a point that, like, we don't like playing it. Uh, but it definitely does, like, like, you know, it, it's something that, you know, we should talk about. It's not something that I'm gonna be, like, like, ignore it or anything like that, because then that's just, like, silly at that point. Um, you get what I'm saying, right? Like, there's, like, you know, it's, wait a second. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I thought I saw something there. And to be honest, like, like, we don't need to avoid fights entirely just yet. I really feel like we, 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 can, we can still do a good job with these. Um, let's use a normal hammer on this, because I want to try out his bomb moves too. Four damage is nice enough. So attack, bomb squad. Okay, so we have to press A with good timing. Oh, so it trolls like bombs at like different, and the distance is measured by how- Okay, that makes perfect sense actually. Got a nice, thank god. Oh, you're gonna use a snow? No! No! <laughs> what the hell? That is so... Okay, the bombs at least will go off anyway. Bobbery's first experience with us is poison. I would've got- I, no, I would've- maybe I would've gotten the nice there. Are the bombs gonna go off? Yeah, they are, so they go off like that. And the other one goes off too? That is such a cool move. That is actually really great. Like, I'm- I'm very- I'm very happy with the, how that went. That was really good bobbery. And I got up to 40 points, which is good. Like, you know, we're not gonna- Trying to avoid point, uh, at fights completely. Oh, we got a sleepy sheep for our trouble. And we struck first this time. I'm um, like avoiding fights like I totally get like for like, you know, like it can it can save a bit of time, but we're still at a stage where like they're giving good enough star points. It's not like they're giving off uh, like a bad amount now. Let's do bomb squad again, because that was freaking awesome. So a little one, just a little bit of blow, and just a little bit higher. No, I threw him too far. Okay, we have to we have to learn to troll lower. <laughs> Quake hammer. Okay, now they won't be able to hit me. That's the rules. I don't make the rules. The fog was so light. Oh, they still they still can hit me. The fog was so heavy, I should say. That like. The light couldn't even see me. Oh, but this guy can see me, of course. Of course. Of course, watch me- watch me try and hit them now. Watch me try and hit them now. Are you ready for this? This is a bomb. Bombs shouldn't miss. Uh, how can I miss a bomb? How do we miss a bomb? It goes boom. It goes boom in a radius. Boom, and blows up things near it. How do we miss a bomb? Oh, we actually got it. Nice. I mean, yes, we got it. Well done. We always get these. Effie is full, but now blow up bombs. Are you- No, we don't need to know. We know it's okay. <laughs> I don't know why I plead with this all the time. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not gonna stop.
What was that? What was that? B bombs, are you gonna blow up or not? Peril. Bomb time. Now you saw him. Now you saw him. Are you in peril already, buddy? Eight star points. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Um, we'll probably swap out, uh, wait, hold on a second. We're still so full up on, yeah, okay. No, well, next time we'll do BP. Next time we'll definitely do some BP. Yeah, I think we're gonna swap our, uh, either heal him up, no, I think we'll swap our party members for now. Uh, we'll swap to Coops for now, because Coops can get a lot of the ground enemies, which is nice. And we have a bed that we're going back to anyway, so. I didn't hit that, but I want to pretend that I was gonna, so pretend I was gonna hit that. And the game cheated. Wow, the game cheated. Didn't expect the game to cheat so much. Like, it's really silly sometimes how this game cheats. Whenever I wanted to. Whenever I feel like I want to save my pride, this game cheats, you know? <laughs> I always like I always talk about that like you know like uh like my the let's players I don't like to watch I'm never gonna name out names but the let's players I don't like to watch are the ones that like who will praise a game to the ends of the earth when like like they're really good at it and then like they as soon as they die in a game it's like this game sucks I remember when Evil Within came out and like a bunch of people were playing it and like by the way people are allowed to criticize whatever game they want but I remember a bunch of people were playing it and like a lot of people loved it I loved it. it's one of my favorite horror games I've ever played. But then, like, it was, like, this thing where it's, like, you watch people and, I'd, like, fight the final boss. And it's, like, whoa, the final boss is such a cool aesthetic. It's, like, the, the design is awesome. And then they start dying to it over and over again because it is kind of difficult. And it's, like, this boss is stupid. This game is poorly designed. <laughs> a sleepy sheep. What do we get rid of? Uh, sleepy sheep. Let's get rid of sleepy sheep. We need to raise our storage. We definitely need to raise our storage. Um, that's, that's a top priority. Uh, let's just do a hammer. Normal hammer. And, like, we can just do one hit with a coops. Lovely. It, it, everything works out at the end, you know? Everything, life just, life just, life is like a, like, like, life works out like that, doesn't it? It just, it just, it's great. Oh, give me the, give me the hearts. There we go. Thank you. We're still like halfway to leveling up though. Have we gone to the beach? We're at the beach. Okay, let's sleep over here for Bobbery. Okay, charge. Can, can you charge me for a sleep again? Thank you so much. I'm the captain though, I guess. I was just talking about this in the comment section with someone like how like they just created capitalism here in two seconds. <laughs> they were like, let's just do it. But like, wouldn't it make more sense if like we just like, you know, kept each other alive? No, let's open up a shop. Enjoy my day. Thank you so much, you thief. And not the good kind of thief. Ah, it is Bobbity. Welcome back to you. Do you know I worry everywhere? My stomach has been at most upset. I must worry about everyone here. But who worries about Flavio? No one. Flavio, you need to stop. Do you know how hard that is for me to sit here in safety and worry so much? I do not know what is out there waiting to lurch in and snack upon me. We do not even know how to get home for the sake of the blue briny sea. But no more yelling. Now is not the time to pull together and work as a team. Love you all, but I must say you're talk right. You talk right too much. Such insolence! <laughs> I growl at you. <laughs> you like an angry jungle beast. I ought to. So in any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke of. This is like such a Denethor Gandalf situation where everyone kind of like started supporting Gandalf instead of Denethor towards the end. You know, like it's just that that situation in, in Lord of the Rings. There's rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. Called an old sea bomb's intuition, but that skull rock smells suspicious. Oh, uh, hey, Bobbery, you wanna know what really smells suspicious? Flavio's armpit. Uh, it smells like low tide. <laughs> but seriously, you may be onto something with that skull rock. I'll say that's where the treasure is. Well, anyone can figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious. I was already saying in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue that noble duty of protecting this camp from invasion. Captain Mario, carry on. I'm sorry to make so many requests, but, you know. Flavio, your cash cover. If you want the treasure, why don't you get it yourself? Oh, well, yes, Admiral, you see, I... 
Well, yes, you have a point. Let us decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone who thinks I should go along to investigate the Skull Rock. Oh, everyone's gonna totally agree. Yeah, 100%. Everyone's agreeing. Daddy have it, Flavio. Fair and square, eh, what? Um, no, not fair. <laughs> Flavio hates you all. Oh, great. Fantastic. I'm incredibly happy to have Flavio with us. This feels so good. Saving the game just in case of a crash. At least, actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch back to Bob Reef because I want to, like, use him a bit more and, like, get better with him. Um, at least... Um, we don't have to backtrack. That's the, that's the best thing about this game. At least we don't have to backtrack again. And, like, at least enemies don't respond either. Look at this. Clean sailing. No enemies here whatsoever. Not one enemy in sight. Not one enemy. Oh, this would be easy, though. This would be grind. In fact, I don't even think... I don't even feel like... Oh, oh, I, we need to use the um the, the bomb uh, thing. We can use Quake Hammer, first of all. Get two damage down. Then do a bomb. Was that, like, a little bit of a falling over? Yeah, just get rid of this thing, right? No? Oh, so it's seven health. So we can't... I, try, I, I guess I should press the nice button for that, because that will just reduce their poison. And for that, we can try and do a counter. Normal hammer. Again, we're... Yeah, we're trying to like, like I should be using a nice instead of a counter there. It just makes more sense. Um, and again, like I kind of want to level up two again. So like, I don't think we're gonna. I'm trying to. You can see I'm so desperately trying to hit with the hammer. Yeah, so I'm okay with doing this, doing it this way too. Uh, let's start with. Actually, no, we should let Bobby do that second. Uh, let's do a. Huh. Actually, you know what we might do? We might do like a Earth Tremor to get some, just get five damage out if we can. I know it's not gonna be exactly five damage. We should try and use Order Star moves too at some point. Okay, that's gonna be that's gonna be fine enough though. Five damage is pretty good. And then like what we might do is you know we'll use but we'll use bomb squad, why not? That was too close. Okay, that that's good enough. That's good enough. We got a nice there, but still it took two away from us, like come on. Get a grip. Get a grip on yourself, please. Understand your situation. Understand the situation you're in. You know what I'm gonna do? I wanna see you guys blow up. I thought it said next. Am I like. Am I b wrong in saying it said next? Did he blow up for himself? I, like saying it was next turn? I thought it was like the next turn it blows up, and now it's like doing 20 turns to blow up? Like, it's taking like 65 turns to blow up the bombs now? Oh, there you go. Only took 17 turns. Oh, leave me alone. We got it, we got it, we got it, it was coming, as it was coming out of the ground. And that's actually four damage is pretty good to start off with. And then we can do a Quake Hammer and get like the six down. Actually, you know what? Super Hammer, actually. No, stop that right now. Well, actually, you know what? We're at the start of the battle. This is like the best case scenario. Unless it like says like it lowers your points. Yeah, this is actually the best case scenario. And I'm thinking that we just go for a straight bomb. We don't, we don't do, we don't do bomb, uh, squad. Even though bomb squad's cool. 
Bomb Squad's a cool move. Uh, it's like... It's like a move, like, it's like, um, you activate the bombs and then, like, three turns after that, like, it, it does this really cool thing where, like, it activates bombs. I think it's, like, 17 turns after that, depending. Yeah, it's, like, it, like, it gives you, like, 17 turns and then it activates the bombs. I'm so salty. Calvin, it's a full one. You play Yu-Gi-Oh! and you don't know anything about, the like, two full turns of rotation? You should know about this, and you're just acting like you don't know about it. It's just very confusing to me. That's all it is. It's very confusing. Well, if it's confusing to you, then maybe you should consult a turn order scientist. You know? Why do I gotta be your teacher? <laughs> Why do I gotta do that, huh? Party. Danny. Danny's just a safer bet here. Like, maybe you should consult someone. Consult, consult Jesus. Do that. Consult him. He'll tell you the same thing I said. I guess we just have to jump this. Oh no, we just, we just have to jump this. I guess, I'm just being, I'm just trying to be like a, like a, a uh, really safe person here like this. I'm gonna have to like move out of here. I know for a fact we need Danny for this. Falling is more terrifying than anything in this game. At least it didn't take us 10 years to get back here, you know? I'm genuinely serious about that. Like, it, it, it's not that long. It's not that long. It is It is strange that they've kept so much backtracking in the game, though. Like, and again, like, like you know, Origami King like kind of reduced that by just giving you like a, a singular like pipe and like allowed you to travel to like any single area. So this is it. Ah, now what is all this? The dead end taunting Flatty with the dead endness. But um, is this? I think it is the skull rock probably blabbed about. Where it possibly reeks of ancient secrets. Yes, let us plunge into this uh, puzzle. Do you not want to like a large stone blocks away, it seems to have to, yeah. There's a space in one of the eyes where it could conceivably play something. Hingus eyes, doesn't Flavio have a gem? Oh, he does have a gem! He's had it all along. But, like... I don't know. Skull Captain Cassis gets the sang song he sang before, Red Jewel Shines and Plays. So that's the Red Jewel. Stash Brothers Best of Friends, three times red and Stash lands on its head. So this is the puzzle. Blue stash bellies four times is whacked. Okay, that's grand. <laughs> I'm not scared. He's scared. I think I think we get the song's meaning now. What did you ask me? You want Flavio to lend you something? Is this correct? Yes. Well, not the Cola Cola coin skull skull gem, please. You want me to lend you? Yes, we do want you to lend you the skull gem. You really, really need it. This is the heirloom of the house of Flavio, you know. See, this is what I was like, kind of like, this clearly that didn't come from your household. This happens so much where people will like steal something, at, like our grandparents will steal something or like they'll get something like from being rich. And then like, they call it a family heirloom. It's like, it's not yours. It's not yours at all. I suppose if it's all right because I am Flavio, he of ludicrous wealth. Yep. I'm just lending it though. Yeah, we're not going to run off with it. Don't worry, sir. So I think I get the... The puzzle there. Yeah, okay, so here it is. So they said, what was it? Let, let me, let's read it one more time. Because it said something about the stashes here. Three times red, the slash lands on his head. And four times, it's like, okay, maybe. Okay, so that, that's, that's pretty simple. That's pretty simple. Yeah. That's a three. And then just banging this guy's belly. Yeah. Perfect. Unless, like, arrows. No, it's, it's going to be perfect. And then we put the bomb in here. Yes, yes, yes. It all makes sense now. I failed you, Mr. Wayne. I was such excited with the cave entrance. <laughs> Ooh, what? Uh, my skull gem. Mario, what are you thinking? The gem was part of the House of Flavio. There you go. There's your freaking skull gem. Phew. 
Oh, what a happy day. My skull jump is back. My jollies has no end. It's a, just a freaking, it's a gem. Who cares? Now then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavia must be heading back now. I kind of let those back at the camp, but it put me fair. I thought you two understand, yes. So let me know when you find that glittery treasure, all right? No. So I guess we're doing this without Flavio. I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that. And with that, we're actually going to end the video here. And in the next one, we're going to continue on and go through whatever this cave is. It's actually been really fun. Um, I think that, yeah, like, the backtracking is, like, getting crazy. Uh, but I think that, like, it's... I'm not going to let it tear my enjoyment of the game down at all. Like, I'm not going to let it do that. Um, because, like, it's, it's, it's like, I could sit here and be like, this is so, this is so stupid, it's so silly. It's like, yeah, but, like, it's like five minutes. It's, it's five minutes of my life. I got so much, I, like, well, I actually don't have a lot of time. But, like, you know, we got a lot of time on this earth, and especially to play video games. I could be doing something way worse than backtracking through, like, a beautiful, like, scenic paper world. Uh, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.